Time to go for gold here on Cognalti Beach. For the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup here in Antalya. It's France versus India for the men's team gold medal match on compound Saturday. The Indian team in the crowd ready for the introductions of the two teams. Aman Saini and Abhishek Verma on target number two representing France Quentin Baraya Jean-Philippe Pouge and Adrian Gontier The line judge for this match is Marine Haas. Well, time for the compound men's team gold medal match between France and India. India lining up with Rajat Chan, Arman Saini and Abhishek Verma. France with Quentin Barra, Jean-Philippe Bouch, or JP as he's known on the circuit, and Adrian Gontier. France in white, India in blue. Looking on, ready to get this gold medal match underway. Introductions were all smiles from the French team. And look at the determination on Gontier's face. The France starts with eight points. A bit of a long hold and a bit of a movement there just as he released. Just got to get settled into this match. Points. These archers have just come off the practice field, which is literally to the right of them now. So it's very similar conditions, exactly the same direction, right on the beach here. This site should be well set. Ten points. Switch over to the Indian team for their first three arrows. And it's the big man up first. Nine points. We're putting it into the nine. Now, he's usually quite cheery on the shooting line, but he looked very serious on the introductions. First event of the year. Getting serious now, isn't it? A lot of changes in the Indian team, some new faces in their group, so... Yeah, Saini shooting second, and uh, this is Chawan. Well, we talked about communication a little bit earlier, that really was very critical there to getting into the centre. Yeah, the first two archers going right, just communicate to your teammate. And he's obviously made enough changes to get it right in the centre. better from them now. They need to stay in this 10, put the pressure on. Shooting over 50 metres and men's compound, you know, mostly shooting in the 10. If you drop in into the 9, you're effectively dropping points. Solid, solid. Really solid from France. 8, 9 and then 10 for the final four arrows. India matched them through the first half. They found the middle too. Again, 
And India responding now as well, also in the 10. Big yellow kisser button on the string. It's a reference point. So the archer knows in the same place every time. Limited the damage there with a 10 trailing by one India after the first end. Both teams proving through that first end with France leading by a single point. Nikki, do you think that there were any uh, weather conditions at the beginning to affect the archers or whether they were just getting used to the, we the weather and the wind? difficult to say that there is that barrier between us and the practice field to the right so whether that barrier is stopping any wind that might be there but it looks so still um, as to why they might have gone right because if, if, if there was a breeze coming off the sea you know now whether that's been stopped by this barrier so that would make sense that it might go a little bit right but I mean look at the French team they, the first Eric we've gone to he just looked nervous didn't he and he just didn't look settled um, it's so hard to replicate these conditions and pressures in your practice environment. This is the first World Cup of the season, so I think it's just a case of both teams just settling into this and uh, obviously got more comfortable in that second end, in the second part of the end. The score is confirmed. France is leading with one point. Oh, she heard it. France leading by one, so the score's confirmed. India will shoot first. You can see, if you look at the trees, the palm trees, the beautiful palm trees here. Nice a lot. As the temperature climbs here, the conditions are very, very calm and very still. Very unlike Antalya. Very unlike the normal blustery conditions we get from this coastal venue. And you start to see the flags just fluttering as the wind comes in off the coast on the right-hand side of your screen. And the key thing here is will the conditions remain the same? Archers don't mind wind as long as it's consistent. India trailing France by a single point, the second of four ends here. They're pretty settled in now, don't they? Confident, straight in that X ring. Just see that how the arrow sits on the launcher blade. Chan anchoring the team for India, shooting third, just dropping a single point. As we switch over to Gontier and France. I think he knew that he just wasn't dead on the centers. It went off. You see him trying to swing his arm a little bit. Just wasn't enough, just outside the 10. Well, nothing between the two teams. And Nikki, it's interesting as we look at the styles of uh, the Indians and the French, the Indians all go into full draw high and then drop down into the final position, whereas it looks like the French actually draw from the outside and bring the bow and the string across their face. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <coughs> different individuals can have different styles. As long as the front hand and the back hand are level, that's the rules in world archery. So the trajectory of the arrow is always level, and that's fine. You can you can 
be kind of eye level, something like that. Sometimes it helps just set the front shoulder, the pressures are running down through the arm and keeping that front shoulder down as you draw the bow. And these bows are going to be, the maximum limit they're allowed is 60 pounds. A lot of these men will be shooting up to that limit, 60 pounds, so fairly heavy to draw back for them. So it looked like they found the middle of the target. Four nines, though, finishing off things for India. So a chance here for not just a lead, but a commanding one for France. That left eye just open close. I think that's just a nervousness. <laughs> Compound archers looking through that peep sight, so very much led by the right eye if you're right handed. Clip the line, three tens to finish things off for France. They saw the opportunity and they took it. And as Berra said, they laugh and that. And that indeed for the French. They, 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 there was that opportunity. We've talked about this in seasons past. Uh, and we're going to talk about it this season for sure. It's not just when the opportunity comes. It's whether you can capitalise on it. Very, very promising stuff from the French. Yeah, like we say, they just had that bit, little tiny bit of nervousness in the first hour or two, but since then they've only dropped one nine, so <laughs> pretty good score of 116 so far at possible 120. Firm scores. It's a three point lead uh, for the French team over India in this compound women's team gold medal match. And uh, Lola Grandjean in the crowd cheering on uh, male compatriots in this gold medal match. Advantage France at the halfway stage. India will shoot first and end number three. Okay. That's what his team needed. Got to stick to that now, keep them in the ten as much as possible. Very quick shot, the 10. the flags on the right they're just starting to move a bit more aren't they very quick shot of Ken and I don't think he's quite centered when these are going off sometimes just out to the left yes <laughs> Just 
kind of hit the wall there and just came back off it a little bit. Well, despite the, well, I'm not going to call it a full redraw, a semi-redraw from uh, Bush hits the 10, but India have clawed back a point through the first half of this third end. I'll need more. They've managed to tr take one point back. If they keep on like this, they've got a chance of getting one or two more, possibly. Yes. Yeah. 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 Following yeah. Verma into the ten, can Chowam do the same? One for a perfect. Yes. And they get the perfect 60, the first one of the new season on the podium range uh, to the delight of Indian teammates in the crowd. Yes. Uh, Gontier taking a little bit more time and that's the result. Yeah, it was a better shot, wasn't it? Just again settling down into it. Normal process. Nine well, that's another point game backed for the Indian team. JP Bush, who takes the longest of the French trio to get to full draw. It's a 10 to limit this to a two point advantage and gets the 10. But it is two points clawed back from India, subject, of course, to confirmation. But it's interesting, isn't it, that Gontier uh, is shooting very quickly at the beginning of each end. Uh, is it because JP Borsch just takes that little bit longer and they're conscious of that, the French team? It might be, but, you know, generally you need to take the time that you need to take. And people have different shot timings, you know, talk about how quickly people load, how, much, how quickly people come to a full draw. Uh, I mean, a great example of that, Sara Lopez, a really, really fast compound shooter. Um, so people are different. And, and you, how you structure your team, what order you go in, it can be relative to that. We tend to put the slower shooters last because if they use up all the time at the beginning, it puts loads of pressure on the people then at the end. So get the quick shooters in first, generally speaking, and then the slowest last. You know, they know how much time they've got and they've got to make that shot in that time. Again, 20 seconds each, roughly, over their two minutes. So, um, yeah, it's communication and working together as a team. Yeah, so t time of fact, two minutes uh, per team per end. Uh, order, you mentioned there. I mean, that, that's obviously uh, the, the timing of the shots important. But isn't it interesting that the most experienced and the, the, the athlete we would know the most, Abhishek Verma, on the Indian team, is shooting first and fourth? Uh, is that a bit of a surprise? Yeah, um, you know, in most experienced archers, you can put out first because they're going to start the match. That can be a precious scenario, and then often they'll go last. Um, you can change your order up between the first rotation and the second rotation. So I'm putting that, yeah, the m most experienced archer first and last. So every team's different. We'll start at the fourth end. India have got their way back into this one against France, and, but they're still trailing by one and shoot first in the fourth end. And they're very happy with Verma's contribution at the beginning. Really strong open, and again, this is exactly what they need. They're really putting the pressure back on France now. If they can keep this clean, we're in for a hell of a match. Well, that's the best grouping so far in this compound men's team gold oh, medal match, India. Three tens at the start of the fourth end. Right, it's on. It is on. That is the point regained for India to notionally draw level with France. Pressure all on France now. They need two tens. 
to stay level with India. Yeah. Oh, another drop. Gautier just lost that pressure. You almost saw his hand come off his face slightly, and that's why it pointed then the arrow left and that left nine. So exactly how he started the match as well. You know, the pressure getting to him. That's oh, a distracted JP Borsch here. Now there's three nines for the French team. I think that was close. I think that was close to the line. Let's see if they do mark it. But it's not start at the moment. Well, whatever they are, trailing by at least one point, potentially two. Bit of a longer Ooh. hold from Verma, opening the opportunity back up for France. Potentially France could be on 202. So this could be all square here. That looks like it's clipped the line. The coach there from India is shouting out 10, almost trying to persuade the arrow that it needs to be clipping that line. Another one to clip the line. So a 2 3 2. Potentially, this is already out of reach. We are thinking about that third arrow from France in the first rotation, though, potentially being a 10 here. But whatever. France need three 10s now to give themselves a shot at the gold medal. And there's the first one. Well, that's two tens from France. Borsch needs this and needs the measure to go their way. Oh, that's gone up into the nine. And that is a definite win for India. 2-3-2 two, two is enough for the gold medal here in Antalya. We think that the third arrow from France may well get marked up, but the nine at the end from JP Borsch means that India are confirmed as the compound men's team gold medalists here at the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup.